Hi everyone, welcome back to Thriving with Richard Bass. Today we're diving into a topic that's crucial for every parent, the impact of screen time on our kids. We all know screens are a big part of our lives, but have you ever wondered how they might be affecting your children? Let's explore the potential dangers and what you can do to ensure your kids are thriving in a digital world. In today's digital age, screens are everywhere. They're our go-to for entertainment education, and even babysitting. But what are these screens doing to our children's developing minds and bodies? First, they disrupt their sleep patterns. Excessive screen time, especially before bed, can interfere with sleep. The blue light emitted by screens can suppress melatonin, the hormone responsible for regulating sleep. Second, we have reduced attention span. Constant exposure to fast-paced, attention-grabbing content can shorten kids' attention spans, making it harder for them to focus on tasks that require sustained mental effort. And third, we have behavioral issues. Studies have shown that excessive screen time can lead to increased behavioral problems. Some of these behaviors can mimic conditions like oppositional defiant disorder and ADHD. But it's not just about how much time they spend in front of screens. It's also about what they're watching. Fast-paced shows like Coco Melon, which feature rapid scene changes and constant motion, can overstimulate young brains, making it harder for kids to focus on slower-paced activities and learn patience and delayed gratifications. So you may ask yourself, what's the recommended amount of screen time? For children under two years old, no screen time is the best option. For kids older than two, Limiting screen time to 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the afternoon can help prevent negative effects. It's also crucial to monitor what your children are watching. Instead of high-paced cartoons, opt for educational content with slower-paced frames and a more interactive approach. Shows where a person or teacher talks and teaches can be very beneficial. Here are some great examples in both English and Spanish. So for the English shows, for number one, we have Bluey. It teaches valuable life lessons with a playful, family-oriented approach. Second, we have Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. It focuses on emotional intelligence and social skills. For the third option, we have Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which is a classic show that encourages creativity and understanding. And for the fourth show, it could be Miss Rachel or anything like her which is educational and designed for young learners. Now, if you're interested in some Spanish shows, for number one, we have Pocoyo, which is a curious little boy who learns about the world around him. This is available on YouTube and Netflix. For number two, we have Los Lunis de Leyenda. It teaches history and famous personalities through music. This is available on RTVE. For the third option, we have Minimalitos, it follows little animals in kindergarten, ideal for young learners, which is available in YouTube. For the fourth option, we have David El Nomo. The adventures are forest gnomes that encourage exploration of nature. This is available on Amazon Prime. And for the fifth option, like Miss Rachel in English, we have Aprende Peque in Spanish. It's educational and designed for young learners. These shows not only provide quality content, but also engage kids in a way that promotes learning and curiosity without overwhelming their developing brains. Remember, it's not just about limiting screen time, but also ensuring that what they watch is beneficial and not detrimental. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with other parents. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on thriving with your family. See you next time.